What is up, you guys? My name is Ashley Walton, and I live in Southern California. Um, to be honest with you, I am all about anything that will help to enhance my neuroplasticity. When I first saw the Happy, it was very synonymous to me um, with the Muse device. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, <laughs> very, very comparable. And when I saw it, I, I, of course, believe in the science, but it's one of those things where you just can't wait to test it out for yourself. And um, similar to the Muse device, to finally be able to connect what cognition actually feels like was super, super interesting to me. I have the ability to interview a lot of different neurosciences, uh, sorry, uh, different neurosurgeons on my podcast and things like that. And to have something that is home-based that we have access to, like, um, like this was something very intriguing. So it seems like it took forever, but I'm sure your year felt a lot longer than mine did um, ever since I had ordered it. And as soon as I put it on, the first, uh, the first signal that I used was alert. And I kid you not, it was like six seconds. And I'm like, oh, like I could, it's like I could feel the neural pathway when I put it on. And then it was this very similar. And I have to keep using the Muse as a, as a comparison because to be able to understand what that type of cognition with that, that actual connection feels like to be able to identify it as opposed to what you think it might feel like, it makes a big difference. And that's why I had posted recently in the, the Happy Backers group, like to be able to better learn about myself through this device, because we, we maybe take it for granted when you have technology like this to understand like, wow, that's, that's actually what it feels like to start building that bridge in the neural pathways of feeling happy or feeling alert or, you know, having the bridge to be sleepy. Like that's not something that we understand unless we can make that connection with what the process is like actually going into it. So it's been amazing. That's so awesome. Okay, thank you for that. So what would you say, so what are your favorite signals and how are um, you I'm definitely them? alert. When I work with my clients, I'm a life coach. I own a company and work with first responders, military service members and their families. So like five minutes before I hop on any of my sessions, I do breath work and I combine that now with the alert setting on my happy device, which is like this amazing extraterrestrial high that I'm able to give to myself, which um, is incredible. I've never done drugs before, but I would imagine that this is way, way better than that. So um, I usually use it right before hopping on with a client and it's enticing to everybody that I come across. They want to know more about it. And of course, the best way for us to be able to learn something is to teach it. So um, definitely, definitely teaching it and explaining the, uh, the nuances of it to a lot of people that aren't privy to it. And um, that's actually one recommendation I would have being active in your backers group is to further that level of education. I know that the clients that I work with, they have a really difficult time understanding the con like the conceptual element of how something like this could be possible. And of course you might get like some, some eye rolls and things like that because they, you only know what you know. And when we don't have visual aids or things that are constantly flooding us with positive influences in terms of education for something like this, um, I think it's really difficult to be able to convey the message and really the, the benefit. Um, I think that happy is a really practical application of how advantageous modern technology really is. And to be able to have a device like this, what, what a lot of people might not understand is that this type of technology one day not so long ago used to not be allowed in the homes of people like us. And now it's, it's very much user friendly and sure we're limited in the level of technology that can be you know, user-based and, and brought out to the public. But to be able to have anything like this that's backed by over 15 years of technology, what is over $70 million, you say, on your website of, um, of funding in this research, like this, the science doesn't lie. And to have something that you can feel in terms of the proof, I think that there is really there's really no excuse when we can spend frivolous money on so many other things that will never matter. This is something that you can use and you can track your own performance. I know for me, I, I do journaling every time that I meditate. And now every time that I'm done using my happy as well, just because I always believe in scaling and I can't scale if I don't know where I started and to see the progression, my own, my own user performance as an individual, I think has been super awesome. So um, to press a button and to literally be able to shift your emotion, when it's easy for us to log into these these social media devices and press that button and don't realize that it's negatively impacting our our mood and our, our cognitive state, 
um, this gives you the ability to actually choose instead of to be influenced when you don't even realize that it's happening. Happy is one of the funnest, most modern ways that I can shift my mood and actually understand what it feels like to do so.